Now we know where the DNS records for your domain can be found, we'll take a look at the actual information that is stored. On the name server you specified when you registered your domain, there will be a series of DNS records for your domain known as A records. These A records are what will tell your computer where to find the website. An A record looks something like this. When a request comes in for www.fasthost.co.uk, the name server will respond with the IP address specified in the A records. So in this example, that would be 213.171.195.48. These A records are how you manage your own DNS. You have full control over them. If your domain uses the Fasthost name servers to store its DNS records, you can manually change these A records through your Fasthost control panel. Let's take a look at these A records in an account. I'll be looking at the A records for fictitiousconsulting.co.uk. On the domain overview screen, we can see that the name servers are specified to be livedns.co.uk, which is the fastest name servers, and you can change the advanced DNS. These are the A records for my domain. We can see that www.fictitiousconsulting.co.uk is pointing to 88.208.252.207. If I ever wanted to move that website to a new server with a different IP address, I would just update the A records here. You can also see a variety of other A records. The host name is just the part that goes before fictitiousconsulting.co.uk. For example, if I typed in webmail.fictitiousconsulting.co.uk into a web browser, I would connect to the server 213.171.216.231, which is a fast-host webmail server. There's a good chance that you'll never have to change any of these A records, but the most common reason for changing your DNS records is moving your website to a new server. Like with the house analogy in an earlier video, a website can move to another server, just like a person can move house. If you moved house without updating friends, families or service providers, then all your posts would go to your old address. DNS is just the same. If you don't update your DNS when you move your website to a new server, all traffic will go to your old server. A common reason for moving a website would be switching your website to a new hosting provider. In the next video, we'll take a look at something called caching, which can have an effect when you change your DNS records.